Welcome shave fans to one of my shaves for our fallen friend Rob Frankie. He will be missed. Today, uh, though I missed the window, uh, a very cool thing happened and uh, some people may not realize just how cool it was. And so what happened is that uh, Douglas and Fran from Phoenix Artists Accoutrements uh, got up early and made a batch, a limited batch of soaps for Frank as a, a fundraiser for his family uh, to help them, you know, cover some of the insane costs that are, they're about to get the bills for. So a very cool thing. So he made a limited batch, 50 soaps this morning, he posted them online and within an hour they were gone. I missed it. I didn't get a chance to, uh, to get in on that but it would have been really cool i would have uh, really enjoyed that now the really cool part about what happened there is that uh, a little bit later he posted an, a screenshot of the donation that he made into uh, peter charcalis's charkey's uh, paypal account and so i did the math real quick and realized that Douglas and Fran, they donated the whole amount. They didn't deduct out the cost for any of the ingredients or expertise or time or any of that kind of stuff. Every bit that you lucky guys paid for that soap went to Frank's widow. So very awesome. Just an insanely cool thing to do, Douglas and Fran. Thank you. Um, this is just my personal thanks to you but uh, that inspired me one of the things that i knew of, about um, rob was that he was a big phoenix artist accoutrements fan and i know the doc was one of two razors he said he would always have in his arsenal and it's a very nice razor so i'll be shaving with that today for rob um, and uh, I have several of uh, Phoenix Artist Accoutrement soaps, but uh, one that I haven't shaved with uh, in a video is the Strange Island. Just a very nice soap. The scent, let's see, it says sage, lavender, and something I can't read, Coparia balsam, it looks like. Just a really nice, interesting scent. Not really like anything I've smelled before, but really, really like that scent. So, I've also picked out uh, my favorite brush to shave with. And this is uh, a brush from Gustafsson Shaving Supplies. Mark's a friend of mine. I had him make it for me to match a razor that he also made for me. All right. Let's see, it is also, also worth mentioning that uh, because I didn't get a chance to take a shower, I did some pre-shave oil a little while ago, let it soak in, and this is uh, Your Best Face, and I happen to use the Juniper Berry, very nice, very nice oil. And I find that when using a pre-shave oil, the best practice is to put it on, you know, like a good five minutes before you're going to shave, and let it absorb in, and then when you come back to shave, you know, you wet your face like you normally would, all that kind of stuff. In fact, I need to probably re-wet. Uh, and if you let it absorb, you will have must, much less chance of it, you know, coming off into your brush and causing any sort of effects there. Okay, a nice, wonderful lather here. As you would expect from... A top artisan soap. Oh yeah. And I have a few days growth here, so. Mmm. That scent is even better when it's had a chance to bloom and you get it on your face. And this strange island is 
one of, I believe it's three soaps. And he just came out with the third. And I have the second around here somewhere as well. Uh, it's got a tower or something. I can't remember exactly what it's got on it. But they're all uh, interesting soaps. Very interesting soaps. And they're all uh, linked in some strange exotic way in Douglas's mind. Okay. Rob, here we go. Now you can see there on my face, one of the cool kind of features of the double open head comb is that it can leave some residual soap there behind, which is really nice for buffing. And actually, I think I'm going to swap out this blade. This one's a little feeling a little rough. Not either not the right blade for this razor, or maybe I just need it. Change it out completely. Oh yeah, there we go. And the scent of this soap is just getting better and better the longer it sits. Oh man. You know, some people have told me, before I got this, told me that the PA doc was just too mild for them. They really didn't like it. It was just way too mild. But I don't find it that mild at all. I find it very efficient, but it doesn't feel terribly aggressive. But it has no trouble whacking off loads of hair. I think I had three days growth there and just off. No problems. Wow, if you guys haven't tried this soap, it just gets better and better. This buffing action that you can do with this razor because it leaves that residual soap behind is one of the really cool features. So like this is my calic area and it's a, just a pain in the butt to try to get short. But because I can kind of buff with this and hit it a few times, you know, and just slightly change the angle, I can get a really close shave with it.
a very close, comfortable shave. Very nice. I thought I had a little bit of a weeper over there, but it went away immediately, so not too bad. Okay, to finish off this shave, I'm going to be using another PAA favorite, and this is the CAD, C-A-D, which is a barbershop-y scent, and it's a really good scent. Mm. Different than the Clubman, but just an all-around good, you know, barbershop style scent. I like it. Seems like there's kind of two groups of people, those in the Clubman group, and then or Teague Clubman, and then or Club Guy, I should say, from CAA. C A P A A. It's getting late and tired. So there's the C A D folks, and then there's the club guy folks. And I'm kind of in the middle. I kind of like both of them. I really like the Panod Clubman, so I keep that around. And I've used that for Panod stuff for years. But uh, I just picked this up, as you can see, I barely hit it a couple times. And the more I use it, the more I like it. So very cool. All right. The Strange Island soap. The scent on this is wonderful. And of course, it's uh, PAA in there. This is their 3.0 um, formulation. So the latest formulation, really good, slick, awesome to shave with. <sighs> Just all around a great shave. And so this is just me wishing Rob is in a better place. So I just had a great shave. I hope you guys do too.